I am bored. <laughs> For those of you who are clicking on this video not knowing what you clicked on, this is a series. And admittedly, the, the plot isn't very thick. For your sake though, I'll put a little 15 second recap here. Oh my god, is that Fatty Tessie? Is that what they've been calling me? Fatty Tessie? Jay, do you have- do you, are there- is there a penis in there? I'm kind of attracted to Megan. Like, Megan can get it. I ordered it last night, as soon as I found out we were going to the ball together. Fucking- he ordered a dress online. So this guy beats up football players, but then also looks at women's dresses online. That dress is the really amazing thing. Cole went out of his way to get it. Really? He went on Amazon. Fuck you. All caught up. Fantastic. So next episode is going to be a fiver. I'm going to do five. That's a website. I meant to say it's going to be like a five episode thing we're going to do. It's going to be like an hour long video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Although I do think I have to buy passes because you get two passes a day and i feel bad about myself purchasing things in this game so if you see an extra ad on this video then just know that you're probably helping me fund my episode addiction it's not an addiction you know what i, I regret those words immediately because i'm not addicted i'm just playing this because i'm bored clearly what chapter are we on chapter 10 okay so where do we leave off basically i won the the award for queen of the founders ball God, I hate myself that I know that. But honestly, everything has been going really right in my fictional character's life. <laughs> I hate myself for that line too. Let's jump on to episode 10. Here are a few words. Matt, no, no, you don't get sponsors. I get sponsors, you don't get sponsors. Are they for real gonna make me watch some ads? Matt, fuck you, Stay Farm. You, you, I don't need no disability insurance. What do I look like? Chapter 10. Tessa, I'm... S Thank God Political Dad is back. I was gonna make that note. I've, I've been missing Political Dad. I've been missing his campaign speech type talk. Tessa, I'm so proud of you. I'm still wearing the tiara. Matt, what happened to my cupcake pajamas? Man, those are classics. Dad clearly doesn't give a fuck though because he's not even looking at me. Seeing you on stage dancing, oh, it just brings back memories. Thanks, Mom. Roger, yes, I realize that. But how do you think Kennedy won? <laughs> I love political dad! Jeff. I don't need the mob. I just need those dead votes, damn it. Oh, I love you, dad. Jeff! Oh, I'm sorry. Roger, hold on. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. What did she win? The Founders Ball. You were there. I didn't win the Founders Ball. The ball is a ball. It's not a competition. She's going to be on the cover of Thorpeville <laughs> The prestigious Thorpeville Times. Why does mom look so fucking sad? I think she's trapped in a marriage she doesn't want to be in. Political dad, you gotta pay more attention to your wife. Can't you see she's clearly depressed? Well, why didn't you say so? That's great, Tessie. Can you imagine the coverage that we'll get? Dad, rein it in. I see the headline now. Middleton daughter hailed queen of pageants. Vote for a real winning family this election. Vote Jeff Middleton. You have my fucking vote, political dad. I think I'm gonna barf. That's great, honey. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. My dad doesn't care about me at all. Hey, thanks, dad. Dad, I have cancer. That's great, honey. Where are my votes, Roger? New headline, daughter has cancer. Vote for a family in need. Roger, you need to run some demographics on beauty pageants. Mostly depressed moms between the ages of 35 and 50. Oh, crackhead brother, Stone is here. Are you talking about your crack stones or coal stone? Should I plan for an extra seat at the dinner table from now on? Don't talk to mom about boys or play into mom's insinuation. Mom! I'm not- I, I'm bashful. I can't be talking to mom about boys. I'm not talking to her. I don't know what you're talking about. I've seen the way you look at Cole. So? So, I used to date quite a lot before I met your father. I had plenty of intercourse, too. Mom, let's keep it in your pants. Well, anyway, I'll leave you two to it. When you say to it, do you mean to it? But please, peep, <laughs> keep it PG-13. Okay, Mom doesn't want me to get to it. Mom! Ah, oh, what a mess that woman is. Hey, what, what am I watching? Flowers on the TV? What is that TV? Oh, it's the Stone Brother. Man, I hate this guy. She doesn't even have a penis. Did I not change? Look at what I'm wearing. You look great, by the way. Thanks, Jay. You're fucking lying. Well, maybe he's just looking at the tiara. I think he's a he's a tiara chaser. 
He only likes women that win. I can't believe I'm really sitting with the queen of the founders ball. Jay! Sorry, I mean, what exactly are you doing here? Listen, Tessa, I just couldn't resist. Morning, Shortcake. Just wanted to say I missed you. Oh, my... This kind of boyfriend? I'm pretty sure I'm dating Cole. Great, what should I do? Ignore Jay and text Cole sweet nothings? Ignore Cole and enjoy your time with Jay. Mmm. This is a good this is a good one. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I hate Jay. Part of me hates Cole too though. I kinda wanna end up with Megan. I'm gonna ignore Cole. I hate Jay, but we'll do it for the drama. Let's see what happens. I'm sorry, I'll just text him back later. Who? Whoa, get possessive much? Who? Oh, no one. Don't worry about it. Okay, so where were we? Why are you still giving me that look? Well, I just wanted to come by and invite you to a movie. Oh? Remember how we always used to watch Mean Girls together when we were kids? Like, all the time. I think I know every line by heart, because I'm a relatable teenager. While well, they're playing it this afternoon. And I was hoping you'd go with me. Hmm, what about Cole? I want to start over, Tess. I've been so stupid. I want to spend time with you again. Exclamations! I don't know how to read that. Come to the movies with me? I've been dreaming of this for years. This is my chance to finally see what it'd be like hanging out with Jay alone. Go to the movies and reconnect with Jay. Politely decline. Can I rudely decline? Because I want this guy out of my life. I'm going to decline. I liked it, Jay, really. But I'm just swamped with chemistry homework. And maybe another time? Yeah, of course. Next time. It's probably too soon anyway for me to be going out to the movies with someone, right? Tell Jay that's nonsense or agree with Jay. I'm going to agree with Jay. Yeah, like way too soon, dog. You Pump the bricks. Sorry. It's fine. It's just this Nicole stuff is still fresh. You know, she doesn't control me anymore. I think it's really sweet that you want to go to the movies with me, but it's just not a good time. It's cool. <laughs> You're damn right. I'm dating the motherfucker. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Matt, how am I arguing with someone that's not even my boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't even like you. Can you leave? It's complicated. And I wasn't lying when I said I have homework. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Great. Now fucking leave. Oh, she's still here. Well, maybe take a rain check on the movie date. I'm gonna pass. No. Wait a second. Did Jay just think he was asking me out on a date? It's great to be friends again, Jay. Yeah, totally. Friends. So are you and Cole an official? Quit using quotes, bro. I'm sick of you. Are you and Cole an official thing now or are we dating? Yeah. Uh, yes or no? I'm gonna go with a solid yes. Yeah, we're together. Me and Cole. I, I, I can't get over his ripped jeans and his his guy liner. But I heard you had a crush on someone else for a while. You're thinking it's you, Slick, don't you? <laughs> How could I ever love someone without a penis? Except Megan. She's the, she's the one exception. Oh? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God! Cole, I wonder how much he heard. Oh, look, it's the king of ball. Did he just do another quote, bitch? I need you to stop. The king of ball? The king of the founder's ball is the proper term. Put some respect on my name, bitch. I'm a king. How great to see you, your highness. So things aren't going great between you two, huh? Cole, I was wondering when you'd come barging in. Were you? Yes, silly. What is he doing here? I was just leaving. So, you ready for the beach then, shortcake? Or are you gonna bail on our date? Now I gotta study. Oh, is that our date? Yep. <laughs> I imagine that's how he said it. Yep. So, we're going on a date? Well, it was really good to hang out today, Tessa. We hung out for like 30 seconds. You asked me to a movie and then... We watch flowers on TV and that's it. I hope we can do it again sometime. I'm actually gonna keep her pretty busy with my dick. But nice try. Thanks, Jay. Bye. Our hands are touching. This is awkward. Why am I still wearing the tiara? This this is bothering me. Bye. Bye, brother. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm sorry, Cole. Is he, I didn't... I don't want him here either. Hey, let's go... <laughs> This is exactly me and a friend of mine. Like, I'm always like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then all my friends are like, why do we hang out with him? Hey, let's toss the frisbee. Maybe later. Oh, you all sad. What's wrong? Nothing. Wanna go swimming then? I'm not sure I wanna get wet. Okay. We came to a fucking beach. You don't know if you wanna get wet? Man, I wanna get wet with that dick.
Mm. But think of all the dirty wet jokes. Oh my god, Tessa knows me. Think of all the dirty wet jokes you can make once you're in the ocean. I'm not in the mood, Tessa. I'm always in the mood for wet jokes. I am. I thought I was Cole Stone. Now I'm not so sure. When is Cole Stone ever not in the mood for a dirty joke? Or constantly teasing me? What the hell is wrong? Sorry this isn't the date you imagine. You Stone Brothers in your fucking quotes. I'm sick of you two. Whatever. Man, can you not do whatever and then put your hands on your hips? Because I'm questioning your sexuality already. I still caught you and him flirting when I came over to your house earlier. I wasn't flirting! He doesn't even have a penis! Don't deny it. You had a crush on him your whole life. I thought I made it clear to you how I felt at the ball. I wasn't lying when I gave that speech. I'm pissed now. Fine. Let's just forget about it. How about I forget about you? I'm ready to jump in the water now. How about I how about I take the back of your head and I dunk your head in the water and even as you flail, I don't let you get up. Oh man, I'm having more murder fantasies. This is bad. No, absolutely not. Come on, shortcake. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna kiss it up. What's wrong? We were just... <laughs> ah, nothing. Can we... I feel like the script is just 50%. What's wrong? Nothing. I just thought you flirting with him. What's wrong? Nothing. I saw you flirting with her. Is it because of Jay? It's because of you, motherfucker. No, it's because you're a being an ass. Fine, I'm jealous. Happy? I'm not happy about that facial expression. Why are you shocked? I'm jealous. Are you happy? I don't want you hanging out with Jay anymore. God damn it, Cole. Why do you gotta be the possessive type? Are you really trying to dictate who can be my friend? That's a death knell. Don't do that, people. Jay's different. He's my brother, and I know how you used to feel about him. I kind of see Cole's point there. That's not how relationships work, Cole. You can't tell me who my friends are. No, I can't. I guess you'll have to choose. An ultimatum? People make fun of me because I own the OC on DVD, even though it's a great show. I don't care. I'll take your insults. But in the show, Seth Cohen who has never gotten any ladies his entire life, gets two girls that he likes interested in him as well, and they're like, you gotta choose. And then he chooses neither of them. And in that moment, I respected him because he was thinking, he was playing the long game. I really hope that I can play the long game and choose neither of them, or I can choose Megan. Well, then, I guess that's my answer. Guess you aren't ready for this. See you around, shortcake. Yeah, fuck off. I'm not even, don't be, don't be sad. You're at the beach. It's gorgeous. Cole's a douche. To be continued. Man. I'm continuing. Hey, another gem! I love my free gems, man. Collect five passes and ten gems every day for seven days. Buy now for six ninety nine. Uh... <laughs> that kind of seems like a deal, man. Because I'm going to have to buy passes anyways. Holy shit, do I spend- <laughs> I'm doing it, man! I'm doing it! Um, thanks for the deal. Purchase. I hate myself! Oh no! <sighs> Am I sure I want to do this? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just- I hate myself with every passing second. Ah, oh, holy shit. Holy shit, I hate myself. Oh no. What have I done? I officially hate myself! Uh, that's great that you guys could catch it on camera. The the moment in my life when I realized I'm a worthless bag of shit. Well, fuck it. I'm not gonna dwell on it. Let's play more. Ah, don't make me, man. Okay, you're kind of talented. But I want to hear your fucking voice right now. Smool? That's a stupid name for an app. Unless you want to sponsor me, then it's pretty cool. Smool, hit me up. Oh, where am I? Oh, you smoke cigarettes. You nasty. Can we talk? What? Am I texting this dude? Man, this dude's a loser. Please call me. Don't smoke cigarettes, man. Cigarettes are nasty. Where are you? We really need to duck. We really don't, Tessa. Go back to your cupcake pajamas. Things were so much easier when I was fat. So that was some founder's ball, huh? Mm-hmm. Crazy about me and Beth. Yeah. I killed a man. I don't doubt it. Did you steal the money from his pocket to buy drugs? Because I know you did. That's great. Ah! What was that, man? What could possibly be more important on that phone than your sweet, lovable, drug-addicted brother? I'm sorry, Travis. Confide in your brother or deflect. But fuck that. I'm not talking about my problems with a, a drug addict. It's nothing. 
It doesn't look like nothing. I guess I get why you and Beth kept your thing a secret. Our thing? Unlike you, Tessa, Beth and I are proudly dating and aren't afraid of labels. Uh, how old are you? Because I feel like you're in college and you're dating a high schooler. And I feel like all this bravado is just you compensating for the fact that you're dating a high schooler while you're in college. Oh, it's Jay. What's up, Jay? What's wrong, Jay? My mom is freaking out. Cole didn't come home last night. What? What do you mean? I tried calling him like a million times. Dad even went out on his patrol car. <laughs> you never want to date this guy. The guy that like disappears because he's doing it for attention. It's one thing to be mysterious as a guy. It's another thing to try to be mysterious. You're putting in effort. You disappear so that people freak out about you and then you're like, oh, no big deal, I'll just do my thing. You know, thang with an A because you're a douche? Yeah. But we don't know where he is. I was hoping maybe you could help. Well, he hasn't returned my calls and he was really mad. I don't get it, he was acting crazy. Shit, I hope he didn't do anything stupid or get himself hurt. <laughs> Kinda hope he did. <laughs> is that bad to say? We need to find him sooner rather than later. Right. Cole is impulsive. There's no telling what he's capable of. He's probably just brooding on the beach, watching the sunset. Drinking a bottle of Jameson, wallowing in his own self-pity. Thanks, Travis. Travis, I know you're a writer and all, but seriously, not helping. Okay, okay, fine. I'll help look for Stone. But we should split up, you know, to cover more ground. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'll go check out that alley on Fifth Street. Yeah, I'll go check out the alley where all the drug dealers are. I'll just, just to make sure he's not there, you know. And no, it's not for me. It's not for the drug thing. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to buy drugs. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check from there, and then I'm gonna leave immediately. But um, I guess while I'm there, I could catch up with some old friends and see if they have any free drugs. I don't. I, I, no, we'll look for some. I don't want you going alone. I'll go with her. If you want to go with Jay, fine. But I know way more about the kind of seedy places a guy like Cole Stone might hang out during troubled times. I don't doubt it. You fucking crackhead. Jay is obviously sexier, funnier, and less annoying than Travis. Tr Travis is my brother? Why is- why am I saying sexier? Why would that even come into consideration? Like, I'm glad you don't find your brother sexy, but why would you even think that? I gotta pay 20 gems? To go search with Jay. I hate this dude, man. I legitimately like Travis better because it gives me so many crack jokes to make. I'm sorry, Jay, but I think I feel more comfortable with my brother right now. Smart decision. If you find Cole with Jay, it's gonna lead to another fight. I understand. Is that alright? I don't want you to think that, hey, Tessie, I get it. You want to be with family. It's not that. I just don't want to be with you. <laughs> Matt, are you kidding me? I'm not my brother, Tessa. Let's just find him, okay? Hey. That's a mature response. That's kind of... That was kind of attractive, Jay. Oh no. I'm falling for Jay Stone. So, how long have you and Beth... Not long. Oh. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think you wanted to know. You're my brother, Travis. Of course I want to know things. So, how's everything else? If you're asking about my sobriety, I haven't touched a drink in three weeks. I don't believe you. Wow, that's great. I'm so proud of you. It's tough, but I know I've got to make changes for Beth. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. Come on. I think I know an old haunt around here where they never check IDs. An old haunt? Is that terminology people are actually using? They serve drinks out of a red solo cup? Really? Look like he's had a few too many. Shit. We've got to do something. Not much to do with a drunk. I should be the one to talk to him. You sure that's safe? No, but what other choice do I have? You can't reason with him, Tessa. Not when he's like this. Let's get some crack in his system and he'll calm down. I happen to have a bag of it right here. No, but I doubt he wants to talk to you or Jay right now. That is the saddest walk across the bar. Did he not overhear our conversation? We were literally like a foot and a half away from him. Well, if it isn't shark cake, of all the gin joints, you had to walk into mine. I've been worried about you. That's funny. Didn't think it mattered to you anymore. Use anger to reason with Cole or use sympathy? <sighs> I'm not an angry person. It's hard to muster anger, so I'm gonna use sympathy. Come on, Cole. Come home with me. Don't want to. All I want to do is talk. Are you willing to do that at least? Talking's hard when you're busy drinking. Okay, you've had enough. Check, please. You don't call for a check like that in a bar. I thought we were broken up. 
I, I, we're over. How can we be over when I'm not even sure if we were ever officially together to begin with? Why are, that's a long ass sentence. <laughs> Keep drinking out of your solo cup, bitch. You used to torture me, but then you became the most important person in my life. <laughs> He's he's been back for like a week. So what are you saying? I'm not ready for you to be out of my life. Not again. You matter to me. Does that not mean anything? That's that's the. What is he doing here? You brought his day and your brother. That's so. Uh, what? What the? They're worried about you too. You can't just let me have something for me. It's all about Jeff, no. What, Nicole stopped putting out, so now you're going after Desi? You sick? You stay away from her. You hear me? She's mine. Can't you see what you're doing to Tessa? Oh, you crybaby little bitch. Mmm. <laughs> what was that? That was a spleen shot. Cole punched him in his spleen, and he completely knocked him over. One punch, and you're down. Oh my god. Oh my god, Travis. <laughs> Holy shit, Cole. You punched him right in his spleen. Bro. You need... Are you okay? I knew he'd do this to me. As soon as I let my guard down, he'd find a way to hurt me. Tessa. I was so stupid to think he'd change. Yo, this plot's getting thick. Look, I know you like Cole, but is this really worth it? It is not. Let him go. It's my fault. I pushed him away and... Don't blame yourself. I'm not going to be that girl. I'm not going to be the girl that blames herself. Cole's got his own problems. Problems you don't need to be concerned with. If I could just talk to him, reason with him. You can't make someone change, Tessa. Don't let Cole put his shit on you. Unless you're into that kinky shit. That's probably too far. You know what? I wish I hadn't said that. I'm kind of agreeing with the crackhead, though. I like what he's saying. It's crackhead wisdom. They, once in a while, it's like that perfect sweet spot. They get just high enough to be profound, but not too high to not make sense. I should be a better brother to you. And you certainly deserve a better boyfriend than someone who drinks their problems away. Someone like me. You deserve better than a boyfriend who drinks. Someone like me? Why am I getting this subtle feeling that you're putting out the idea that you want to be my boyfriend? but you're not good enough for me. That, that's the only deterrent. Not the fact that we share the same genetics and that I've been with you since we were born, but the fact that you drink, that's gonna be the problem in our relationship. Not the fact that our kids are gonna have web feet, but no, it's, it's just the drinking thing. You're not like that anymore. I may not be drinking, but I still want to. The feeling never leaves you. I'm sorry. Don't be, I'm trying. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Thanks, Travis, for everything. So what are you gonna do now? What I should have done before. I'm done with Cole Stone. Yes! Finally, man. Move on to Megan. That's the key. To be continued. I'm glad we ended it there. Another gem! Now, like I said, next episode is going to be a five-episode thing. I... <laughs> Did I spend seven dollars? Did that actually happen, or am I misremembering that? Because I hate my- oh, that's right, I hate myself. When I was playing the game, I kind of forgot about the, the the hatred in my heart for myself. But now that it's done, it's coming back to me. Oh, I got another video coming up very soon that I'm pretty excited about. Also, season two of 13 Reasons Why. That's coming out on the 18th. I'm not certain if I'm going to binge that or if I'm going to do an episode-by-episode episode thing like I did before. I'm torn on that. I'm leaning towards the binge. However, the whole reason I started this channel is because of the 13 reasons why I wanted to make a video on every episode, and that's why I started this channel. So it would be kind of cool to stick with that, but at the same time, I think the binge might just be a better package for something like that. I got a couple weeks to figure it out, but I do have some really cool videos on the channel. I'm going to do The Fault in Our Stars. Once I finish that book, I'm going to do a video about the book and the movie. Star Wars binge, that's going to be coming up. I'm also thinking about doing a binge of a TV show. I don't want to give it away yet, but it's gonna be the weirdest mm, You know what no spoilers. Let's just say that if you're not subscribed You're gonna want to subscribe with the notifications on because that video is coming and you do not want to miss it Go back and watch the first episode. I'll put that up in the corner here, and then there is Something else <laughs> down there is the dr. Phil video the, the dr. Phil video. I thought that was funny You might enjoy that. Maybe you haven't seen that yet. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day